Hello, everyone. I am so happy to be back. I know that a few of you are only hearing about it now. There seems to be some issue with the uh, notifications. So I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, we are back for readings. And today I was thinking what we would do is an open mic for spirit. Because, you know, a lot of the time I find we can direct the reading and we can get fabulous readings. But I find when we just leave it open and um, allow the space for spirit to just bring through whatever the, the most important messages are for you right now, I find that's when we get into some crazy powerful readings. So I'm Shirley Harnish. I'm the author of The Path of the Soul, Return of Spirit, and the other deck, Divine Guidance. And we are going to be doing a two-level reading. So we are going to be doing charms, but first we'll do cards. And our choices are, this is our Faith Buddha. He has a little man, um, manifest, an amethyst. And we'll just tip him up for the camera there. Isn't he a cutie? And this one, ah, this is our manifesting Buddha. So he has the world in his lap. And I love him. And who else do we have? Ah, we have our peace Buddha. So, faith, manifesting, or peace Buddha, okay? Now, that's for the first level. For the second level, we're going to do charms, and we're going to choose by color, okay? So, our choices are pink, blue, or green. Now, if you need... Take a moment to pause, give it a sec, figure out which one you want, and I'll get us started in the readings. Hello, group one for our faith Buddha. Let's see what spirit has to say to you guys. So I think I'm going to speed this up. But I know that people appreciate being able to see the shuffle and the draw. Okay. So we are going to do four cards. This one needs to come out. Huh? Shen Rizzi. Actually, we're going to go this way. Which is about manifest. Ding. Mm -hmm. We have some relationship stuff coming up with the, the fairies. Huh, okay. There is some, this is a relationship. Huh, okay. Interesting. So, um, the first card that I want to start with here, we have two relationship cards showing up. And this one the fairies and i'm just going to hold it here like this if you can see in the center i know it's hard to see on camera but there is this spider web in the center and these are like two little fairies here and the story <laughs> the meaning behind this card is talking about getting fired up over something and usually it's issues or relationship issues with you know friends family your partners work who knows who it is um but there's something about getting worked up fired up um having you know some confrontations that sort of thing and that spider web in the middle is talking about getting stuck into the drama of it and having a difficult time kind of extracting yourself from it so that you can you know take a breath take a breather step back and be able to look at this from 
a calm, rational place of like, because we have two selves, we have that reactionary in the moment part of ourselves. And then we have that, that wise person that always comes out when we're all alone and thinking back on things. And this is talking about having, getting that space to not be stuck in the drama and stuck into whatever is churning in here. And what's interesting is we have the connections card. So with these two together, this one is almost like the masks that we wear each lifetime, that each life we carry a new persona, but there's a bunch of these here. And this is usually talking about connections with um, soul family. So there's something going on here. Like these are some big lessons that you guys are learning. And like I said, it's the cards are not actually saying, oh, this is an intimate relationship or that it's family yet. But the point is, is that there's some big lessons here for you guys to learn around your relationships and, and not getting hooked, that hook that happens. Um, but with that said, the fairies card is also talking about, you know, saying what needs to be said. And sometimes we have to share some hard truths that aren't always easy to share and it's okay for you to do that it's just to make sure that you aren't in um you know that egoic sort of reactionary where your your heart is hurt and you're just reacting that you're coming from this higher place of seeing that these are lessons for you to learn and grow and evolve. However, there's something going on here with this Shenrizi card. So this is, um, Shenrizi is um, manifesting and it's, it's kind of like this true potential that each of us have because we are these master creators that is what we have come for you know we have this card talking about past lives and soul connections and it's saying like a part of whatever is going on here is for you to remember that you are the ultimate creator in your life and creator of the world you are experiencing and with Shenrizi being in here it's telling me there's something for you to embrace, learn, um, grasp. You know, I don't, I, I'm having a hard time articulating the, the proper word for it here, but there's some sort of lesson around you taking full control, like not just in the physical, taking control of the situation or whatever's going on. Yes, that needs to happen, but that you're doing it on the other levels too, because if you look at the Shenrizi card, so this is Shenrizi with his big ears, his two eyes here, and this is his companion, oh, there he is, companion like dog. And Shenrizi is all in green. It's this beautiful green energy. So it's not talking about, you know, manifesting from the head what it is you want. Um, that you're manifesting from the heart and that your goals and intentions are for the highest good of everyone involved so that it works out for the best for you and whoever else is involved. And sometimes that's not easy because our idea of how things should go or what needs to happen may not always be in the highest good of all involved, including yourself, because what the lower self sees and what the higher self, soul and spirit understands are vastly different. So it's about creating this space for manifesting and creating 
in a way that truly works to your benefit and everyone else's benefit um, in a way that being open to have it happening in a way that you may never have expected, that you may never have considered even happening. Um, so this is a very important card. But the other thing here is we have the intuitive arts guide. So, you know, it doesn't seem at first glance, it doesn't seem like this goes along with it. But the, the intuitive faculty and our imaginative, creative faculty actually funnel through the subconscious through the same area where our rational thinking mind funnels through from the opposite side, right? So these are actually deeply connected. And so they're saying that, like, I feel like intuitively you knew something was going down in the relationship department. Maybe you saw red flags and a red flag came up and you went, um, no, that's okay. <laughs> Everything's okay. Um, maybe you were ignoring red flags or um, ignoring your gut, you know, not listening to that inner voice. There, there might be something with that going on here because it's the feeling I get as soon as I pick up this card. But then there's something else that there's this, wise, deeply connected soul that you are. And it's this that we are looking to access. And sometimes we get these challenges in our relationships to bring us onto this path of stepping into our role as this creative, intuitive, spiritual being that we really are, not this mundane 3D matrix reality skin suit that we're wearing, right? So there's something really important about your intuition, using your intuition, using your intuition in your relationships, in manifesting. And I have a feeling there's something a little bit more. So what I want to do here is we're just going to bump that over. Here we go. Let's get our Return of Spirit deck, and we're going to pull two cards and see what do we have. And I feel like we need this one. <laughs> this, the immunity card, so fits this whole situation. This is... Okay. And the power card. It makes sense to me. This all makes sense. Okay, so the immunity card, you can see it almost looks like this. Um, it's our immune cells. And our immune cells have these little um, feely arms that go out, find, you know, viruses, foreign bodies, and connect onto them and remove them out of our body. And this immunity card is talking about this is a part of the higher lesson or learning that is going on in this relationship deal. Because the immunity card, somewhat like the fairies card, you know, the fairies card saying don't get stuck in the drama and the, the emotional base of that issue. And the immunity card is talking about being able to go through these situations and to not be affected on that that lower level the way that maybe you normally would be so you know when we get a cold our immune system comes it sees the cold it figures it out it removes it and we restore to health and it's saying like your own immunity is going your spiritual immunity, let's put it that way, is going through this situation and figuring it out. And so often with the immunity card, there's things that were done to you, by you, things that were said, 
And, you know, we have these Velcro brains and it seems to Velcro anything that's negative. It just like, it sticks to our brain. It sticks to our inner being. And we replay that, you know, often and over. And then we end up, because it, it lodges into the subconscious, we end up manifesting it over and over again, these repeat situations over and over. And this immunity card is about coming to a place where you go through it, but not in a way where you would react like you normally do, where you're able to really approach this from um, a more healed perspective and just, no, <laughs> no, no more. Not like this, you know, I have a job to do. I have things to do in this world. And it's about breaking that manifest, that pattern of manifesting the same type of situation, relationship situation over and over. And it seems like this is a past life thing that you need to get, you need to break it. And we have the power card, which truly, uh, it, what could be more empowering? I, I like, I can't even think what could be more empowering than breaking the cycle of these difficult, if you want to say toxic, uh, but I don't feel like this is actually toxic for everybody involved, but there, there is some element going on because the word red flags came out too, but this is like a clearing out of this pattern, these patterns so that they're not on repeat manifesting in your life so that it gives you that space to really come into your heart and into your truth and into your power because that's what all this yellow is and you know it looks almost like a globe or a world in the center and with that it's like being in power and in charge of your world of your realm this that you are experiencing and living in and and being able to maneuver through it, through your world, in a way where you're really intuitively functioning from your intuitive faculty, your heart faculty, and from your highest sense of being. So there's a lot of healing that's here for you guys. And, you know, once you actually break out of that cycle of manif manifesting that, it frees up so much more of your energy, like mentally, emotionally, physically, it frees you up and gives you so much more that you can give in, in this world to the people and things that make your heart flourish. Okay, so it's about getting back into that space of really living in here from your heart and not in fight, flight, fawn mode um, of what's going on in the BS in the relationships that you've been going through, okay? Now, we aren't done. Here's your choices for your charms. Let's see what else Spirit has to say to you today. Hello, group two, our manifesting Buddha. Let's see what spirit has to say. So I am going to shuffle these on camera for you. Um, just speed it up. Okay. And let's see which one I am drawn to here. Okay, this one. Kuan Yin. Huge healing, compassion, forgiveness. Oh my goodness. Nurturing universe. Encoded. And let's go. Oh my goodness. Footprints. Okay. We have uh we have some power cards happening here. Um I like to start with cards that have spirals because these are um authentic fractal images that are created from fact fractal software 
And so everything in our natural world is created through fractal geometry. So it everything that comes from energy into form in this world is created based on fractal mathematics. And wherever we have spirals, now I don't know if I can get it close enough here, there's this big spiral in here and then thousands of little spirals all going through this. And we have what looks like almost like a, um, a moon up there. And that moon is very, moon energy is very nurturing and mothering and caring. And that's why it's called um, nurturing universe because where there's spirals there's energy in the in expansion and there's something about getting having being sharing this nurturing loving deep energy that you have that is i feel like it goes right down into my stomach like farther than my solar plexus that there is this need for you guys in in this group to connect with other people to serve the world in in whatever way that you guys are here to serve and i feel like but a part of this message is about you know in order to give to others we all know this but sometimes we need to hear it over and over we have to make sure that we are fully replenished that we are fully stocked so that we have enough to give to others and so there's there's something very important here about getting into these habits and patterns and sometimes it's really difficult to to switch modes into this self-care, self-love, um, self-focused in a healthy way so that you are feeding yourself because you have a job here. You guys absolutely have a job here that elements of what you do help to nourish, restore, encourage, inspire other people. And so it's about you guys getting in that order first, right? And the reason I'm saying that is because we have the footprints card. And there's literally two footprints here. And this is like, you know, a shape like the world is here. And the footprints card is literally about you leaving your mark on this world and so i feel like this is where spirit is saying you guys have been feeling it i know that you've been feeling that calling and for some of you you'll actually know what it is that you're here to do and for others you're going to be in that place where you're just feeling that pull and that calling and you're like well where how like how do I do this? And um, I had somebody in a in last week's video say, you know, they keep telling me the same thing over and over. And I don't need the what. I need the how. How do I do it? And my reply was, first, you have to say yes. And I mean, you really need to say yes from the pit of your soul yes i will no i have no idea how this is supposed to go down no i have no idea if i can do it if i'm good enough i don't know but i am just going to trust you and i am going to say yes and as soon as you do that things shift and it is almost magical how it happens but things shift and the universe starts bringing you the how. And so I feel like with this footprints card and that nurturing universe, they're talking about a part of your role here. You know, the mark that you came to leave on this world. 
involves you giving to other people in this really profound way, in the way that's right for you. And so if you are not aware of the what, it is coming. It has to do with us. And if you're not aware of the how, it is also coming. And the reason I'm saying that is because we also have the number two card is the encoded card. And this one is really tricky on camera, but there's all these symbols, tiny symbols, all embedded in this um, image, in this fractal. And all of those symbols are talking about um, the deeper meaning, the deeper encoding if you want to put you know just like the matrix there's this this encoding that's just underneath this dimension that that we can't we aren't always aware of and there's something about being more aware of that the deeper meanings the hidden meanings of things and and i feel like that's is talking about in relation to you stepping onto your path and claiming your soul's purpose, that there's deeper stuff happening here in your life. It has happened, is happening, and will continue to happen that is on a much deeper level than just, you know, life happening. There's the encoded messages in everything. So I want to say like those synchronicities and coincidences because there really are no coincidences. This is, these are direct markers. And I feel like they're talking about the markers that are going to help, you know, flag you and say, okay, this way, just like that air traffic controller, you know, that, that you're being led down this path. And there's something about you guys just ah, giving in, putting your heart and your heart and soul out here and saying, okay, universe, I am going to trust you and I'm going to walk this path that my soul has come here to walk because that is the single most important thing that you can do in your lifetime. That's why you're here. It's why you're here. Okay. So we have a master number here and this is Quan Yin and Quan Yin is she is deeply connected in the form of compassion understanding and forgiveness and so there's something about you needing to operate from that it's almost like you know clearing out some old bits because we were talking about you needing to really take care of yourself and not, you know, not just on a superficial level, like brushing your hair and teeth every day, but it, on, on the deepest levels. And so there's some sort of forgiveness that needs to happen here with yourself, with other people in your life in some way, like, um, and letting, I don't know why this word is, it's like um, some inner shame and feelings of not being enough and not being good enough and allowing yourself to release that. This needs to get released. This is really a deep reading for you guys. And this is not normally the message that comes through with these cards, but it's so strong that I, I cannot ignore it. But we're going to just pull a couple of the Return of Spirit and see if there's another little bit of message that they want to add to this. So I feel like this one here, Union, I likes it. And oh, that's the one there. <laughs> fairy magic. So that's twice. Um, fairy magic, a different fairy card came out for the first group. Okay, you know, where I was talking about needing to nurture yourself and this forgiveness and all of these things that have happened. Again, we're going into relationship stuff. And I feel like with this union card, 
I mean, it is these beautiful silvers and golds. And these are like matrimonial colors. And so often the union card is talking directly about a relationship coming up here that is a healthy relationship, a true relationship with a partner who really gets you that. And so while most of the time it is romantic, you know, an intimate relationship, for some of you, I have to say that because we have the footprints card and we're talking about leaving our mark on the world, that there's a very good chance you could be working in union and in partnership either with someone in the physical as a business partner or any something like that or even working with spirit directly in the path and work that you do because there's some element of healing that you bring okay but i had i have to say you know even if there is a a business partner or this relationship with spirit developing i still feel like there's there's an improvement in a current intimate relationship because of the work that you're you know being guided to do for yourself or there's one coming up because i feel like you guys are really um a sensitive bunch and that it's really important that you have that support of love encouragement and you know this partner who is like your cheerleader like yes you've got this yes you can do it you know and so i feel like there's something about that so there's they're reassuring you that this is on the way that that is a part of this journey you aren't here to walk your path all by yourself for your entire life that's not what you guys are here for and with this fairy magic, um, you know, all work and no play makes you a dull boy or girl or whatever. <laughs> it makes you a dull soul. And fairy magic is talking about embracing the play of things that you're, you're allowing yourself to make it light, to lighten up and be playful and especially when, when there's something that happens in our brains when it comes to our path of purpose because we just get a little bit ooh, and we're like oh i need to walk my path and i need to like what is my purpose here and what am i doing and and we get so serious and so there's something with this fairy magic card that is saying lighten up you know Walking your path is the most beautiful journey you will encounter in your lifetime, right? And lighten up when it comes to relationships and the pressure of, you know, like, I need that partner. Right? You don't, you don't need the partnership. And when you decide you don't need it is when it will come. That's the way it always works. Spirit just loves to mess with us. But it is about taking these things from this really light-hearted approach like okay i know it's coming now i i don't need to stress i don't need to sweat i don't need to like on repeat do these affirmations or you know this forced manifesting kind of thing i can just let that go and like just really be with the world and experience this this deeper magical aspect of the world which is these beautiful synchronicities and play with seeing those coincidences and just going to give you the first little coincidence we do have a master number 33 and so these master numbers are builder numbers they have you know big purpose in the world so wow wow you guys wow okay now we are going to do the next part which is a charms and hopefully they'll give you a little more clarity either on this or something else that they want to talk to you about we'll see you there okay for our peace buddha let's see 
what spirit has to say to you and i'm just going to give these a quick little shuffle and i'm going to draw them for you because you know it's nice to change things up a little bit and oh this right here okay first this one first this one i don't know why but i'm not going to ignore that ha uh, nature card okay cosmos of the heart Ooh, channeling guide wow and breakthrough now this is interesting okay so okay cosmos of the heart let's start with that one because this is a master number 22 we have it's almost like owl eyes in here we have all these greens and the owl eyes you know owl sees through the dark right they are nocturnal and there's a deep wisdom and cosmos is talking about the deepest wisdom of your heart which is ultimately you know our heart is our direct connection to our highest self and our connection to spirit and there's something about really um getting clear about what is head stuff you know because we grow up with this conditioning in life um you know you need to um, excel at, at your academics and continue into university and then get a nine to five and you know girls do this boys do that um <laughs> you know how it is all this conditioning and cosmos of the heart is talking about stepping beyond that conditioning that none of that really matters you know the voices of our parents that we carry in our head of what we should do could do blah 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 and that this is more about really getting deep into our heart about what we truly want what what our most authentic self is that's what Cosmos is talking about. And so I have to say, because this is coming up and it's a master number 22, which is a builder number, you guys, there's a lot of challenges that come with master numbers. And you guys have had your fair share of challenges. I understand. But this is talking about you coming into this space where you begin to clear away the, the mind chatter and really get connected to your deepest heart because um and i feel like a part of this they're saying the how and then they're saying the why so this card is called nature and this one is literally talking about um connecting to nature now i know in the northern hemisphere we are hitting prime summer and so for a lot of you this is the absolute perfect time for you to get out and connect like take off your socks and shoes put your toes in the grass you know get dirt in your toenails like whatever go to the beach get sand all over you um really ground yourself into nature because there's something you know it's not just the grounding right which really helps to clear out some of the residual energies that we're picking up in the day and it helps to get us centered there's something even more than that because there's something about getting you guys i feel like i need to get back in my body um and i don't know why i have that feeling with you guys so maybe some of you are really diligent about practicing that and then maybe some of you are really not diligent and you need to and they're talking about using the the power of nature to help get you grounded back into your body and get your two feet on this ground because there's something really important and powerful in doing that so i have to say um what keeps coming to me i mean isn't just getting outside and um connecting with the earth but like i keep hearing the sounds of birds and trees and so there's something about that too so you could even you know if you don't have 
a lot of free time between work and life to get out in nature, you know, even play um, nature sounds on soundtracks, you know, while you clean the house or you study or whatever it is that you're doing. There's something about getting you connected to nature. It's very important. There's a cleansing and a coming back into your body. And the reason they're talking about that is because we have the breakthrough card. And this is literally talking about, you know, the patterns of our lives, this tic-tac-toe board, and it's slicing right through there. And it's slicing through with this beautiful light. And it's talking about a type of breakthrough that you guys are coming into, which is why they're talking about the need to get your energy in alignment, to get your frequency tuned in, to dialed in to the, the right frequency. Because, you know, with a breakthrough card, that the, the, these are the ahas in life, like, yeah, I did it. And this is the energy that you guys have coming. So, you know, whatever that, you know, we all have our, our own walls that we come up against and we're like, eh, I don't know how to get past this point. And this is talking about you getting past that point, like honestly breaking down these barriers. Think of it that way. That breakthrough card is talking about breaking through the barriers and getting you onto the other side. Now, this one is pretty amazing. So we have the channeling guide. And so if you look at this as being a face and that from the crown, there's this energy coming in the crown and coming out of the mouth. And with that channeling guide, it's talking about you being some sort of voice for spirit. Now, whether they're saying that that's the career for you, I don't know. What they are saying is that you are here to give voice to this higher knowledge, higher wisdom, to allow yourself the space to, you know, when you are grounded and you're resonating in that, you know, harmonic frequency where you're resonating from that heart energy, that it allows you that space to really work these natural gifts that you have of working, speaking, sorry, for spirit. And, you know, um, there's a lot of people I've met who, you know, will just be having a conversation and something will come out of their mouths. And I'm like, we just that? <laughs> like, you know, and they don't even know that they're saying anything profound is that they're saying something that I was just talking about with spirit in my meditation that morning and the words are coming out of their mouth. I'm talking about that kind of being a vessel for spirit's voice, okay? But this definitely can amp up to it being a part of your path and purpose as well. But that's really going to be up to you guys to have that breakthrough to get to that place where you really are in alignment with your heart and you can really trust that you know what your higher self is saying as your path and purpose and being that voice for spirit that you can get to that place where you can trust that that really is what you're here to do because a lot of the times we end up having an argument <laughs> with spirit like hell no I'm not doing that um, meanwhile it's one of the greatest gifts that we have here to share in the world right so um, I'll just give these a little quick shuffle and let's see what else what else we've got two cards we need to draw here oh my goodness you've got the intuition card I mean <sighs> I'm glad I pulled and changed my mind. Ah, oh, spirit's so funny. Okay. So not only did you get the channeling guide card, but you got the intuition card. Okay. So that literally says everything that I was just saying, it's backing it up. 
they are absolutely saying that your intuition is key to this whole reading and you working with your intuition they're telling you the how how to get connected into your intuition that there is a breakthrough coming that you're here to be a voice for spirit and we have the change of mind card so there's something going on here and i feel like that's what they're talking about with this breakthrough is with this change of mind so i feel like there's some negative nelly going on here or some really disempowering self-talk like you know it's at some point you guys have to start to believe in yourself and to believe in spirit to trust spirit and i feel like that is what the change of mind card is because these are like two worlds coming together and they're working in harmony with all you know like, like this is every color of the chakras here and this is working in harmony with spirit like directly being that voice for spirit but you've got to get into the right mindset to have the breakthroughs with your you know believing in yourself and trusting your intuition and you know the fears that come along like it you know working with your intuition and going out there to whether you're doing readings or healing work or i mean there's so vast counseling is even a type of intuitive work um you know trusting that that this is your gift and using your gifts there's a lot of fear that comes along with doing this kind of work and that's normal that's so normal it's so natural um and it's about doing it anyway even though you have fear you take baby steps and work yourself up baby steps until you feel comfortable some people need to just like go to the high board and dive off into the pool it's the only way they're going to get in the water and other people need to slowly go in you know ankles first then up to the knees then up to the waist but and so for a lot of people it's less shocking to the system if you just take these baby steps and that's why this grounding and getting in connected into your heart so with the cosmos i really want to say um get into heart resonance um the breathing um matching the brain waves to the heart beat getting into that place that really helps work wonders for intuition now there's more to this reading we have our charms left to do and remember which one you chose you can go right to there now and let's see what else they have to say and oh please do hit the like thanks hello my lovely pinks okay let's give it a stir and see what we connect with here okay i might have taken too many but eh, i don't want to okay i don't like chucking them back Okay, what do we have to start? Okay, so we have Aries, the ram. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. So there's something about starting because it's very entrepreneurial. And, um, but there, Aries is also very like go getter. And there's something about that. So let's see, just wait. I, I might come back to this because first we just have to see what these charms are we've got what is this oh my goodness can you see that it's a little car like a, it almost looks like a little batmobile um so we have a car so that's a journey you know uh in dream symbols the car can often represent our means of traveling our path because a road represents our journey in life and so there's something about moving forward on your path in a more you know take no prisoners kind of way like you're charging out this is the ram right and there's something starting i don't know how to say it other than that there's something starting see because now we've got the turtle here and the turtle is you know coming out of our shell 
and it's slow and steady wins the race. So while you are charging out, it's not about rushing out. It's about taking your time, being really methodical, um, making sure you're doing the planning, everything that's required in that way. We've got the letter J and the X. And I feel like, you know, um, sometimes these represent the initials of people, but I feel like X almost marks the spot. Oh, and we have the letter V. So these could be people, but it could also be letters of things that are important for you coming up because, oh, I love this one. So we have the little hummingbird, right? And with the hummingbird, they, you know, like a bumblebee, they drink the nectar of flowers. And I feel like this is about savoring the sweetness in life, or even if you want to put it this way, extracting the sweetness in life. Um, and I feel like that's coming through something that you're starting. And I can't get rid of that feeling. So we have another letter J. So that's two J's. And this one is more royal looking. So I don't know what that is going to be. I'm just, I'm just being honest. There's something important about the letter J, whether it's a person or a thing that you're wanting to start. Okay, and we have another bird. So this is just a plain bird here. So two birds and we have the dragonfly and we have a feather. So this is definitely you guys. You guys are taking off. You guys are taking flight. And I feel like this is a new path, a new direction where maybe you guys always headed east because it's the path you know, the road you know, you know how to do whatever that is. But you guys are going down a new path, you know, a new, a new road with this car. And you're starting something. And I feel like you're giving, you're being given the support that you need to really overcome yourself, overcome your fears, come out of your shell and take your time and really move forward with this project. I feel like you guys have something right on the cusp here that you already know. And it's interesting that we have both the cross and an angel. And I feel like this is spirit's way of saying, you know, we're with you. We've got you. You're covered. It's good. Move forward. Yes, yes, yes. Like, definitely. Like, and with the cross comes faith and trust. And I feel like Spirit isn't saying this is about you trusting them. This is about you trusting yourself and your your gut, your inner self. Oh my goodness, it's another little angel. This is another angel. So we have two angels. You guys are totally guided. A shell coming out of your shell. Again, this flower is about blossoming. And it's also about getting the nourishment you need because it also goes along with the um hummingbird and a key you have the key there's a new doorway you guys are starting something amazing and i just want to say the elephant this is more like an asian style elephant and that brings me to ganesh manifesting there's yeah you guys are manifesting something something totally new and spirit has got your back you're going to be okay. Just move forward with whatever plan or idea, even if it's the smallest idea, just move forward with it. Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't know there was a hair there. That's me shedding everything. Anyhow, I want to say thank you. If you liked your reading, please do hit the like button, subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you again next week. Take care. Hi, Blue Group. Let's see what we've got. Let's give them a little mix. And, okay. If I pull too many, I'm gonna drop those because some people don't like it when I leave charms unread, but 
sometimes I have to because there's only so much time I can spend reading. Okay, so the what is this? Oh, look at that. We have a gift. So there's a present. And now, I mean, wait till we get through the charms. But, you know, this could be talking about being in the present or that there's gifts your gifts that you have to give and share or there's surprises coming up here for you and we'll know once we get farther into the charms and so what do we have here this is i'm just gonna get it up here this is a baby elephant and with elephants um with this elephant anyway um, you know, there's a lot to do with memory. And, you know, they they have an impeccable memory. And so there's something about reminiscing, something about the past. And usually it's about um, allowing those memories, allowing the past to be there in the past because memory is past and present. Do you see how that's playing out there? We've got the past and present. So there's something about letting go of the past. And we have a sailing ship, right? And that is like sailing into new waters. There's, is there, there's something going on here about like a new adventure is how I want to put that. And I'm not sure what kind of adventure they're actually talking about just yet. Oh, transformation. Okay, so we have both the swan and the butterfly. And both of these represent transformation in their own way. So there's some sort of change happening here. But usually this is a, you know, with the swan and butterfly, this is a personal change within you. That something is shifting within you, shifting out from old ways of being, old patterns with the elephant, um, you know, old memories, ideas of who you are, and a change and transformation into a new way of being that brings on this new adventure in life. Um, now, we also have, we have the sign of Scorpio which Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and Pluto is um, death and rebirth. Pluto is transformation, literally. So now we have two, two charms talking about, uh, sorry, I meant three, talking about transformation and change. So there is something going on there for you guys, I've got to say. And we have Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. And whatever Jupiter touches, it expands um, in, in the astrological anyway. But there's something about Jupiter is uh, higher learning, higher law, enjoyment. Like there's pleasure to be had in here. There's a higher, something higher lessons learning. I've got to say, and there's two letter L's. So these are initials of people who may be important to you or things and events that contain the letter L, start with the letter L, that might that might be prominent in some way. Um, you know, Jupiter rule, Sagittarius rules travel overseas. That's kind of funny, like in astrology. And then we have the sailboat. So I wonder if some of you guys are actually maybe taking some sort of trip overseas or if it's symbolic of a new adventure. It's going to be different for each of you, so it's really hard to say. Oh my goodness, and another butterfly. Okay, that's one, two, three, four transformation charms that you guys have. So that's crazy. And we have a key, which actually came out in the last reading too. And that's the opening of a door, a passage into a new realm, a new area of life. So, oh, and we have, we have a fish, 
and the cross. So, I mean, in a way, that kind of relates to um, Christianity, right? You know, the cross and Jesus feeding the fish and stuff like that. But this is, ultimately, that cross is about faith and being reborn, right? It's a resurrection into a new world. Oh, my goodness, this is over and over. Um, there's, a, there's some sort of spiritual transformation that's happening here for you guys. I'm quite serious. I, I'm... I'm kind of floored by how strong this message is that's repeating over and over. Um, I do want to get to this because we have this, we have this star here, and then we have this like starfish kind of star here. So we have two stars, and this is about shining your light. And so I feel like whatever this transformation is, is bringing you into that place where you become that shining star in your life, where you feel like you're really able to express who you are. And it's giving you some sort of stability to really put yourself out there in the world and shine. And I mean, that's, that's amazing. It's beautiful. Now, I just want to go into this one here because... It's a little fairy. And with that fairy, you know, that again is this playfulness, right? Not, not taking things seriously, so like so not being heavy with things, being more lighthearted about it and, and approaching this transformation and change that's coming to you through your, in your life from a place of lightness because this is a really good shift, a really good shift that's coming and we have that heart. So I feel like this is much more in alignment with who you are. Um, and we have, we have the, oh my goodness, I'm having one of those moments where you can't recall the, I know what this is. <laughs> Anyhow, this is like, you know, if you want to say warding off evil, I feel like Whatever difficulties you guys have been facing, this is saying there's a sort of protection here for you that you're being, you know, shielded and covered and protected, you know, with that teddy bear. There's the comfort there. Um, like, I feel like this is going to be a very good time for you guys coming up and you're not going to be dealing with so much of the BS in life for this next little bit and I think there's there's going to be quite a change happening here so that's very amazing please do hit the like subscribe I am so happy to be back thank you I'll see you guys again next week okay green group let's see what charms we've got for you we'll give them a little stir yes Okay, let's see what we've got in here. So we have a strawberry, four leaf clover. Oh, is that a teddy bear? Oh, oh, ho, ho. okay, we're gonna go to this one right away because it is always nice when the money bag comes out. So we're absolutely talking about finances. This is money on the way. Somehow, somewhere, I'm not sure. Let's see what else these charms have to say. Now, we have, oh, that's interesting. So, we have an owl. And the owl is nocturnal, sees through the dark, um, and it is wisdom. And so a lot of the time when this owl is showing up, it's talking about coming into a place where you can see through the darkness, you know, that's happening in your life. Because a lot of the time our vision is stented. We can only see this far in because there's so much muck happening in our lives. And so this is talking about being able to see through the dark, like better times coming ahead for you. That's the feeling I get with this. And we also have 
this golden little golden elephant. And, you know, if you think of Ganesh, who is abundance galore, we've got, you know, this abundance totem along with this money. So there's something here where they're wanting to reassure you guys that there is the support financially on the way for whatever it is that you're wanting to do or what you're whatever you're needing it for. Now this is the tiniest thing. I have no idea. My goodness. Any idea what that is? It's a mystery. Okay, you're going to have to tell me in the comments below because I cannot for the life of me figure out what that is. Now, we have a beautiful pink whale tail. Now, uh, whales, dolphins, they are like the spirit guardians of the earth and they're able to breathe air. You know, no, they're they're able to surface. They breathe, hold their breath, dive and come back for more air unlike regular fish. And so there's something about being able to maneuver through the two worlds because water represents intuition, life, like the spiritual aspects and the air is the physical world, you know, thinking, that sort of thing. And it's like this combination air represents the mind. And so there's this beautiful blending of the intuition with the spiritual aspect, the spiritual aspects, intuition with the mind. So it's not that the mind is overtaking everything. There's a, it's a beautiful harmon harmony here. And I, I want to say something about the harmonics because whale songs are deep and profound. And there's these notes that they hit that some of their sounds we can't even hear, that we need special equipment to hear it. And so it's talking about these higher spiritual frequencies. So there's something going on there that connects into this manifesting of money that's coming in here. Now, we also have a squid and with that little squid you know they squirt ink is what they do and it's a means of defense and so there's something about you know because we also I'm gonna tie that into this even though it doesn't seem like I could um, there's this spoon and that is the nourishment getting what you need, having your needs met, which I feel like they're talking about the money. But then there's some part of you that's still in that struggle, fight, defend myself, defend myself in this world sort of thing. And, you know, because the squid squirts its ink and it's protecting itself, right? And it's saying like, you don't need to do that. You don't need to keep squirting your ink and protecting yourself that there's this manifesting energy that's coming in for you that you know with this spoon is saying that it's going to take care of all your needs and I mean not every single need all at once but the important ones so that all your bases and basics are covered now we do have I'm just gonna bring this down we have the letter K the letter S another K okay that's kind of funny. So we have two K's and we have the letter V. So these are people who could be prominent in the next little bit for you. Um, initials of things that become important over the next couple weeks. It'll be interesting, but the K must be important because there's two of them. And I mean, look how many charms there are and we get two of them. So that's that's beyond coincidence, right? There's something else going on here. Now, the other thing we have here is two feathers, which does go along with the owl. But feathers are often 
a sign from our angels and guides that spirit is with us. And I feel like you are definitely getting that guidance right now. Um, and that support, like this, this money and manifesting and letting down your defenses. I feel like they're talking about you being supported somehow for you to be able to step forward or move forward. And we have the four leaf clover, which is, it's more than just luck is what this is saying because a four leaf clover is, you know, it's a miracle unto itself for you to find one. They're so rare. And so this is talking about that unique, rare opportunities that on the surface, it might appear as luck, but it's not luck. And we have one, two keys. Okay. Keys are doors opening for us. There's, we're getting, we're gaining passage. We're, you know, leveling up here. And I feel like that's what they're talking about with this, this abundance that's coming in where your needs are being met. And it's opening up doors, doors of opportunity, because we do have this circle and the circle is the completion. So it's almost like the completion of an old cycle and moving in into a new cycle. And that's why that makes more sense to me now, why that owl is there. Because when we're in this transition, we don't always, uh, there's more instability when we were, are in the middle of a transition. And so this is saying, it's okay. You're going to gain new sight. You're going to be able to, you're, it's, the ground is going to steady out. And you're going to be able to see um, in this path ahead. Because I feel like right now you guys are feeling like you're in the dark and not really sure what's going on, right? And let's just quickly finish up the last of these. Um, I also, this looks like a letter H. And so, yeah, or yeah, it's a letter H. So I'm just going to put the letter H over here with our other letters. And we have the child. And when we have a child, you know, they talk about in the Bible about um, be like a child in order to, you know, gain entrance into heaven. And I feel like uh, I'm not religious in that way. But when this spiritual text and scripts are talking about that, they're talking about coming from that place of letting go of everything you know and being in that place of wonder and um, belief. You know, children have a way of believing in, in the most magical things that we, we don't believe in anymore as we grow up. And it's about trusting in that magical kind of life and world and coming back to that sense of play. And in that, we kind of gain the kingdom of heaven in that lightness, right? That innocence and approaching this situation from that place of innocence and lightness and that's the transition that you're coming into. So it's a lot lighter, playful, abundant. And we also have, this is like a, a baby grand. I'm just going to bring that up. This is like a baby grand piano. So with a piano, oftentimes it's about coming into harmony and in tune with things that are happening in your life right? And, and coming along because music, music is a rhythm. And there's, there is this transition, there is a new rhythm, there's a new tune playing, I think we can turn off the heartbreak radio FM, and we're going to tune into like, the greatest hits playlist, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Because there's an, a new rhythm coming into your life. And with this teddy bear, I mean, there's only one thing that comes out to me when we're thinking teddy bears, and that is comfort and security. That when we have that um, 
teddy bear and we snuggle into him, we get that sense of security, even though we feel like we're alone in the world. And that, I think, really does tie in with the whole manifesting energy that's coming in here. And then the last one is the horse. This is a horse. And so that is, you know, spirit having feist. And because this is not a horse, that horse that's in a, a, you know, trotting along. This one's in a gallop, tail straight up. You know, there's a lot of pride there. And I feel like, you know, with that comes freedom. So there's some sort of freedom coming for you guys through this transition. Wow. Okay, please do hit the like, subscribe, leave me comments down below. I love talking to everybody. I try to answer everybody, but sometimes it's hard. <laughs> but I love you guys. Please do, please do take care. And I will see you again next week. 